Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat. You're watching iGAN and today we're going to be reviewing the new HP Pavilion Power. Let's quickly get started. We've already done an unboxing of this particular laptop. If you guys haven't already seen that, hit the link in the description below or the information tab on the top right of this video. Now, this particular laptop is available in a few options. The one that we are looking at today costs around 89,000 rupees. From a build and design perspective, it is a pretty good looking laptop but it weighs in at 2.27 kilograms. It has a nice metal frame with a plastic outer shell, which is in this shadow black color with acid green accents. Now, these accents look really nice and also included with the package is the HP Odyssey backpack, again in a black and green combination. Now the acid green accents, including the HP logo behind the monitor and the rubber grommets on the bottom, the keyboard LED light, and even the speaker grill, they look fantastic with the color and give this laptop a really nice and stealthy look. The top case, which covers the area around the keyboard, is made out of a brushed metal and it feels really nice. It should last you a really long time without a lot of wear and tear. With the HP Pavilion power being aimed at creators, the keyboard is a really good keyboard. It is a metal backlit keyboard and it does have the acid green LED backlighting. There's a good amount of travel in the keys and it feels really comfortable to type on for extensive usage. You do also get a full featured numpad. So you do have a full keyboard and fitted in this frame, the keys are well spaced out and you don't feel fatigue in using the keyboard for long periods of time. The trackpad also is pretty precise and it does accept multi-finger input, including gestures, and they work really well. And the scrolling also is really fast and responsive. So I'm thoroughly enjoying the trackpad and the keyboard on the HP Pavilion Power. So if we talk about what's inside, you do get an Intel 7th generation Core i7 7700HQ CPU at 2.8 gigahertz. And then you also get eight gigabyte of onboard RAM. For graphics, you do have the Intel HD Graphics 630 paired up with the Nvidia GeForce GTX 1050 graphics card for discrete 4GB GDDR5 equipped graphics. From a storage perspective, you do get an M2 SSD at 128GB and you also get a 7200RPM SATA drive at 1TB to give you those additional storage needs. So you do have a hybrid drive setup. The battery is a 4-cell 70 watt hour lithium-ion polymer battery which does support HP Quick Charge, allowing you to get 90% of battery life in just about 90 minutes of charging using the HP charger included with the laptop. Now from a performance standpoint, the HP Pavilion Power is a pretty impressive laptop allowing you to do all your creation needs and even a little bit of gaming without any problem. So whether you're running several word processing applications or simply jumping between applications, the trackpad is also really responsive and easy to use in executing those gestures. But the HP Pavilion Power also responds back with a good amount of performance from the machine in itself. If you're gaming games like Years of War 4 played at 60 frames per second, including Tomb Raider and some of the other games that we tested out. We found the laptop in general is a pretty responsive laptop. And if you're going to be using this for hours and hours of work time, you'll thoroughly enjoy the experience that you're getting from the performance of this machine. What's also good to see is that we constantly got anywhere from three and a half hours to four hours of usage from the HP Pavilion Power with extreme usage jumping between several applications and lots of internet usage and lots of video playback. The display is a 15.6 inch IPS anti-glare display. Now this is a 1920 by 1080p display and it works well indoors as well as outdoors. It's really bright. It has extremely nice viewing angles. So whether you're gaming or just consuming content or just doing your day to day work, you thoroughly enjoy the display. It doesn't give you a lot of strain as well. What's also great is the pairing up of Bang & Olufsen speakers on the Pavilion Power. You also get the BioPlay utility to sort of tweak up your sound, enable the sound boost, and also you can launch an equalizer, use some of the presets that are there, or you can simply adjust the equalizer as per your requirement. You can also tune the audio according to what you're using the speakers for. So whether you're listening to music or whether you're watching a documentary, all of those things can be tuned in with this interesting application, which in itself is really good, but the speakers, the way they're tuned out of the box, also work really well. Now on extreme usage, we found that the HP Pavilion Power has really good amounts of cooling and it managed to control the heat levels fairly well. It does speed up the fan to a quite a loud volume if you're doing some gaming or some heavy usage on the machine. So beware of that. But in all, it also manages to keep the system cool, which is what mainly the priority always is. Now, like I said, the battery life is pretty impressive, giving anywhere from three and a half to four hours of constant usage on the Pavilion Power with our tests constantly. So we're quite happy with the amount of battery life we got from this machine. If you are using it for basic tasks like word processing and not connecting to the internet as much, you are able to get up to six and a half hours to seven hours of usage from this machine, which in real life translates to a good amount of usage. So if you're planning to use this for your work or for your meetings, this is a fantastic laptop to be able to do that. So to conclude, you have a really nice design with a good matte black finish with this acid green sort of 
highlighting all over the laptop. It feels nice. It looks nice. You also get a metal top case. It is 2.27 kilograms, which according to me is slightly heavy. And the battery life is also good. From the machine, you have a really good display along with really impressive speakers. The laptop also charges up quickly and it comes bundled up with a nice backpack. Now here are my cons. I don't like the volume that the fan reaches when it's trying to cool down the system from extreme usage. I would have liked to see slightly more metal on the outside considering it does weigh in at 2.27 kilograms. So a little bit more use of of metal would have been nice for the machine. From a performance standpoint, I feel that the machine is great and it manages to give you a good balance between your work use, your home use, or even a little bit of fun time. Whether you're playing games, watching movies, or just simply watching YouTube, this laptop basically handles everything and is a good mix for all of those things. If you guys are interested in checking out the benchmarks, I'll leave links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button if you're not already a part of iGAN. This has been Bharat Nagpal. Thank you for watching our review of the HP Pavilion Power. I will see you guys in the next one.